Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma and this is Alex. And we are currently on one of the best train journeys of our life. Our beautiful penthouse apartment. <laughs> this is the biggest place we've been in ages, guys. No, and it's so pretty. I'm sad to leave. However, we are on our way now to Slovenia because that is where the endless adventure are waiting for us. They've already gone. So we are now getting the train from Vienna to Maribor, which is where we will be meeting Eric and Allison. So I guess we'll see you guys on the train. We're here at the train station in Vienna, and no matter how many times we've been traveling, years and years and years, we're almost always late. <laughs> we were just running. It wasn't so good two seconds ago. We were just running through the station trying to get her on time, but we made it. Don't worry. <sighs> I don't think I've ever missed a plane, a bus, a train, anything, but the amount of times <laughs> we've been this close is ridiculous, guys. Yeah. Anyway, do you think we learn by now after six and a half years? So the first leg of the journey is to Graz and then somewhere else and then somewhere else and eventually we end in Maribor which is on the border of Austria and Slovenia. Now we haven't made any reservations for these trains because they weren't compulsory so we're not sure if it's going to be first class or second class or what but fingers crossed it's going to be nice. We have first class Eurorail tickets which means as long as there's a first class option we get to live like kings. So we made it on the train and there is no first class however the second class is pretty nice, nice and spacious and We've got ourselves a nice table here to do some work from. Fingers crossed, we still have a few hours of daylight left, so the views might be nice later, who knows? And also guys, look, we've got ourselves some Wi-Fi on board, which means that we can do some work and some editing. This has to be the best office we've ever worked from. Uploading a video here, and then the views just keep getting better. The train from Vienna to Graz is probably, ooh, probably the most attractive <laughs> train journey I have ever seen in my life. The views were spectacular. There were snowy mountains, like ski resort villages. It was really, really special. Better I, than the one we did in Japan? Ooh, yeah, probably. It was really nice. Because it was just constant. As far as train journeys goes, guys, that is a Travel Beans thumb. It is up there. And if we go back to our old Travel Beans rating, that is a five out of five for train journeys. But we, but we started the Travel Beans rating about a month ago yeah, and it was out of 10. And it was out of 10. <laughs> Sorry. We should, just, of 10. we should just start rating things. Like, that's three bananas out of three. <laughs> we have made it to the border of Austria and Slovenia. However, old trusty bag has not made it. It's not old trusty bag anymore, it's just old bag because we've lost the straps. So unfortunately, our last bit of the journey isn't even going to be a train, it's a replacement bus. I've got flashbacks of England, I feel like there's always replacement buses in England. And apparently Austria is no different. Here's our ride. We're officially bus wankers. Um. What does that mean to people that don't know what that means? Well, if you don't know, then you'll never know. Or you can just watch the in-betweeners. So we're on the bus, and as far as bus replacements go, it's a pretty nice one, actually. The ones in England are always really rickety and cold and horrible. Dingy. Dingy, that's a good word. Yeah, it's quite nice, actually, quite luxurious. I think the seats even go back. We've even got enough space that we don't even have to sit next to each other. I know, thank God for that. We are such idiots, guys. We never ever get SIM cards in any other country. <laughs> so I like the phone. challenge. So we don't have Wi-Fi or data to ever find where we're going. No. We have an Airbnb here. We didn't even take down the address actually this time. We were extremely stupid. And 
we sometimes rely on free Wi-Fi in the stations, but Maribor station is very small, very, very small. Uh, no Wi-Fi here. So we just got to go wander around and yes. probably look for McDonald's because that's always the godsend. <laughs> This is what we get resorted to. We are hanging outside some dirty kebab house, <laughs> trying to scab their Wi-Fi because it looks like they haven't got a password on, the fools. Trying to find that Airbnb, but the Wi-Fi is not actually loading anything right now. So, oh, oh, something's happening. 15 minute walk. Brilliant. Let's do this. I almost there almost at the house finally we are in some random residential area yeah. and it might not look that much fun but as far as travel days go this was a pretty epic one it was it was actually really good and it's just about a 10 15 minute walk from the station to get here to the house but the views the views on the way here guys well worth it the views on the train were phenomenal and usually rail replacement buses aren't that good but that one was like a really fancy coach that was actually really comfortable and i didn't even get travel sickness which i usually do yeah for someone that travels so much she gets way too sick <laughs> but anyway we're nearly here we're gonna go hopefully join endless i'm gonna get some food because we're starving <laughs> uh, Where's the light? Oh, we're here. Oh, nice. Yeah, Look at this size. Room, but got... they've um, pulled the sofa out to make it a double bed. And then those guys have got the bedroom, which is kind of. <gasps> so we can watch the endless adventure. <laughs> Real life endless adventure. <laughs> and they've also got this sofa. So if Emma starts playing up, we know where she's going to be sleeping, <laughs> on the bed. We're back outside to brave this weather because someone is hungry and in turn hangry. I am a little bit hungry. I have no and comment on the hangry. The hangriness. But I'm definitely hungry. So I think the nearest supermarket is about a kilometre away. So we're just going to walk that way. If we see a restaurant on the way, maybe we'll stop at a restaurant. But otherwise, we'll probably just buy some food to take back to the house. We've been walking around for a while. And, okay, like always on this channel, we don't know anything about this place. But, first impressions. It's pretty cute. When we first got off the train and just walked to where we were staying, it was kind of the outskirts of the city and there wasn't much going on. It was just very just housing basically um but now that we've actually come into the center it's really cute it's really it's like nice a mini european city so there's lots of small little streets like this like the rest of europe to be honest <laughs> but it's got its own little charm so we had a very very nice meal i had falafel wrap and it was so good everything is good again she has pressed the reset button. She is not <laughs> hangry anymore for another six hours. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Um, okay, well, we're looking very homeless because I've layered up on the tracksuit bottoms and coat and everything. So we thought we would add to this kind of street look on a baby. Now we're walking down the streets like the degenerates we are with a cider. Mm. Show them the gloves. Oh no, we're sharing. <laughs> we're sharing gloves <laughs> because it's cold for our hands. So but Al doesn't have here. a pair, so I've given him mine. So the cider won't be too cold for us. Mm. We're wearing gloves like legends. So that is the end of our travel day to the Slo Slovenia. Slovenia. <laughs> Honestly, I've just opened this, so I don't know <laughs> why I can't say that word. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you like the video, guys, thumbs up. <laughs> Oh wow, that was Again, weird. I've only just had a little sip of alcohol, I don't know why. It's <laughs> okay. a long day. Yeah, so, like the video, then leave us a comment, tell us about your shittest travel day. And do you like seeing our travel days, or are they boring? Yeah. Stop doing them, do tell us what to, to do. we need to do more travel days or less traval days? Well, we tell can't us. do more, we'll just do the appropriate amount. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. And the notification button as well, just yeah. press it. Just chuck everything in there. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. That's the first time I'll be doing this in Slovenia. See you on the other side. Beans out! <laughs> you really you went like... <laughs> <laughs>